It's great to welcome you back to Get Connected. Why? Because we're here with two party animals. <laughs> They're going to help us enjoy the holidays even better than we could ever imagine. That's is that right, right ladies? That's yes. totally right. So the question is, Georgia Alley. Yes. How does a San Francisco girl meet an L.A. girl and then start doing TV with the Food Network? That's an excellent question. We're best friends. Yeah. And I lived in L.A. Georgia actually was living in San Francisco yeah, for a while. What? We switched. I know. We swapped. We swapped. Before then, we ever knew each other. Yeah. And then I moved back I moved back down here. I met Allie. And I was like, this girl's going to be my best friend. She yeah. is so cool. Yeah. The FF. The FF. So we, we went on a friend out. date, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we went on a friend date. And we were both really intimidated by the other one. Because yeah. like, she dressed cool. We're like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not cool enough. And so our first friend date was super awkward. Yeah. And then, but after that, it was all fine. Yeah. So when does it go from BFF to we need to collaborate and then all of a sudden appear with the Food Network? It was Kind of an accident. Yeah. We worked late hours. Um, we would be exhausted by the end of the day. We wanted a drink. We wanted dinner. We mm -hmm. wanted dessert. And we kind of ended up combining them into one cocktail mm -hmm. called the McNuggetini. I know. It was a joke. It was a farcical <laughs> joke. So we made, a, we made a video for it. Our friend is the director at Funny or Die. It went on the internet. We just put it up on a lark. Just a total joke. And it went viral. And then um, the New York Times called and wanted to do a feature on us. And it was on the Today Show. And it was in Time Magazine. And before we knew it, the Food Network contacted us and said, okay, this is a weird, gross drink. Can you guys make real drinks? And we said, we actually, we kind of can. Yeah. So we made up a ton of, uh, of new cocktails for the Food well, Network. we're excited to hear about <laughs> this cocktail, but I'm just curious. Did you feel like you made it with your family when you were on the Today Show? <laughs> you know, I mean, I, that's a moment. They're like... <laughs> Yeah, they're like, you're good. <laughs> yeah, no, you're whatever doing, you do, yeah. Keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. When the New York Times article came out, too, my family was like, really? You didn't mention this. And I was like, yeah, I kind of wanted to surprise they you. They framed so. it for you, didn't they? Yeah, they framed it. it. Yeah. Well, now, frame us here. We're at this beautiful holiday table yes. that you've assembled, but we've mm -hmm. got to get right to the good stuff. Okay. Yes. Tell us about Skinny Girl and what makes it to be a great cocktail well, the, wow, the problem yeah. is, like, we go to a lot of parties, we throw a lot of parties, and so we know that a pitfall of a party is if you're making up individual drinks for all of your guests, you're going to miss your whole party. Totally. So we are not opposed to shortcuts, and so when it comes to having a big holiday party, if you don't want to mix up a big punch, take a shortcut, and there are some really, really good ones available. And Skinny Girl has a cran white cranberry Cosmo that just came out that's awesome. It's um, already pre-mixed for you, so the vodka, the triple sec, and the white cranberry juice is done. You just pour so it you over So you become us. an automatic bartender with that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You, you pretend like you're making noise over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, the, the problem is with mixology, you know, we do it for a living, and even for us, that is really time consuming at a party. Yeah. So it's better to go with a batch cocktail, and if you're doing a million things, then, you know, just rely on someone else, yeah. go ahead and use that, and then move on to entertaining. And yeah. it's great, people love it. And you can dress it up like uh, you see this ice cube here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's a I big cube. It looks so pretty complicated. I, no, though. it's totally not. The results look good. It's so easy. It, it's, but you've suspended cranberries in the ice. Yeah, it's a loaf pan. Mm -hmm. Spring water and then cranberries and rosemary, and you just put it in the freezer and it and Overnight. 24 hours later. Yeah. You and don't go back in, and nope. as it gets no. kind of gushy, then you put more of them nope. in. No, no, okay, nope. throw them in there. We wouldn't, we wouldn't. So do we that. have. I'm going to move your display here. Okay. Because we got there's three different colors here, so at least yeah. go through the colors. <laughs> That's well, how guys look at it. Oh, is that? You want this color, this color, or this color? Well, I think the margarita guys would like a lot because the trick you can do with it is you can rim the glass in spicy salt mm -hmm. and put some jalapenos in there. Yeah. And it's kind of a more trick. manly drink, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's also manly and it's skinny girl. Right, Give us a sense of the name. Where did this name come from? Do you know the background on that? Well, there? we do know the background. And, and sure, I mean, a lot of girls like to keep their skinny figure. And the good thing about skinny girl, though, is it doesn't have a lot of sugar. So you're not going to end up with like a blinding hangover. And it's not a lot of calories. And I'm like, Give me an example of one guy that's like, I'd like to be bigger. I'd like to have a bigger belly. Like, I don't think guys guys don't want that either. Yeah, so. and then you can like waste your calories on cheese instead, which is what everyone wants to do. Exactly. Right. And if you're holiday entertaining, if you've got if you've got it in a big punch bowl too, then you know if you've got really manly guys that refuse to drink anything with the name girl on it, then they won't even know. So let me ask you this: for a manly date, we're on a date. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Candles key, right? Yeah. Candles are so key. Everyone so if we looks pull out the candles. skinny girl, the girl's gonna be like. Nice. <laughs> you know what? I think anything that someone's been wanting to try or there's buzz around, people will want to taste it. So, I mean, I think a lot of people have read about Skinny Girl. They've heard the buzz about it. And so it's kind of exciting. If yeah. Oh, I've heard about that. I want to try that, actually. They're curious about it. Totally. So now, would I get more credit for this or if I actually built one of those houses for it? <laughs> Probably the drink. Exactly. Good. Way to keep it simple. Yeah. Three party tips. You know, for our age group, okay. we're inviting friends over. We got the skinny girl, but give us three ideas to have a party where people don't wake up 
the next day going, ah, oh, wasted time there. Yeah, well, okay, exactly. we have we have this really great icebreaker. These mm -hmm. are our place cards. Yeah. Instead of putting, um, well, they're actually they're little poison bottles. Which yeah, is these are so adorable. You went green. These are okay, cool. Yeah, these are just um, jars. You can get these on Etsy. They're just like from an old, Tincture. kind of like an old apothecary jar. So it's really cute, and you can put name tags. But a really good icebreaker is if you put a fact about each person something who's sitting funny there, or something weird, weird or funny, find out ahead of time. That way, when someone's looking to see where they're sitting, they have to read all these facts about all these people. I love that. Find so, their own. Exactly. They they can say like who knows how to who's like knows how to shoot arrows on horseback. You know like who <laughs> is that? So it's a great way to introduce people. Yeah. And and to wrap things up because yeah. this mm -hmm. has been great and I'm glad yeah. I'm in LA because you cool. guys will tell me the cool spots to hang out <laughs> in. Oh, Where to be seen. So given all your success, what advice would you give to anyone out there living out their dreams? Oh my gosh, I think at, like, I'm just going for it, just being yourself. I think the thing that worked for George and I is because we're best friends, we're actually best friends and we can just be who we are and kind of be unapologetic about yeah. it. And that's really been the key to it. It's yeah. just be yourself and don't be afraid to pursue anything. Just knock on doors. Go for it. And have a lot of fun with it as well. And I think, uh, like, you know, the tip is, like, anyone can kind of do it. And, like, why not you two? Yeah. Like, we made a McNuggetini cocktail, and, and now we got to quit our day jobs and, like, yeah. have a lot of fun with it. So. We put ourselves yeah, out there. And I just sit between the right, two of you. Exactly. <laughs> I want this segment to go on forever. Where can we go for more information? Um, well, more information on us is at AllieAndGeorgia.com, so people can gently stalk us and be our friends and come to our holiday parties. Um, more, yes, we'll invite them to yeah, our holiday well, parties. Just some what of about them? me? You're coming. You're coming to our holiday Thank party. You. You're, you have to come. Um, more information on flavors of Skinny Girl, SkinnyGirlCocktails.com. Um, you can get these on Etsy.com. Yeah. So yeah, go tippity tappity. Well, Allie. Hi, bud. Georgia, <laughs> rock on. Party on. Party on. Is we that will. what you say in LA? Of course. Sure. Rock on. We'll be right back with more Get Connected. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement. <laughs>